Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There is news today that some of the hostages held by Hamas for 46 days uh, may be released in an exchange. And I pray that those uh, who will be released, I pray some will be released, but I hope that those will be, who will be released include b the babies and children who have been he being held up until this point in time, and especially the niece, Ofer, 10 years old, and nephews, Yuval, 8 and 4, uh, Uriah, uh, who, who are the niece and nephews of a constituent in my riding. Last week, students at a Jewish elementary school in Toronto were evacuated due to a bomb threat, and regular customers of a Starbucks location in my riding found the store windows covered with anti-Semitic graffiti. This is not normal, and it cannot become normal. Each of us has a responsibility to condemn anti-Semitism and all the acts of hate within our province. The Toronto Police Service has been an invaluable partner in responding to these incidents and others, and my office continues to receive messages expressing thanks for their protection and the government's introduction of mandatory Holocaust education in the Ontario curriculum, as well as our recognition of Israel's right to defend itself and the right of Jewish Ontarians to live without fear in this province. Since the terrible events of October 7th, my office has received countless emails from constituents concerning a common theme. I am deeply concerned for the safety of my family and our community. I reiterate that these events are not normal, they cannot become normal, to live in a province where these displays of intolerance occur unopposed and become commonplace is unthinkable. Today, tomorrow and always, we must condemn anti-Semitism whenever and wherever it happens.